Hey guys, Matt Dieterich here at Plain Wave Instruments. Thanks for joining me on today's video. I'd like to go through and show how to set up the Series 5 focuser and rotator onto our brand new Delta Row 350 telescope. All right, now that we have the Series 5 focuser and rotator unpacked, let's talk a little bit about them. Now, you can stack both the rotator and focuser together. And to do so, the first item that's gonna go onto the back plate of the telescope is gonna be the Series 5 focuser. Next, we would bolt on the Series 5 rotator after the Series 5 focuser has been secured to the back of the telescope. But here's how they look once they're stacked. And they, they feel very solid and they're gonna click in and then you're gonna secure them with the hardware. So not all users are gonna run with the rotation capability, but I would like to show the installation of the rotator as well for those users that are gonna include that capability of the additional accessory. Having that rotator is nice if you wanna frame a target, you know, picking objects and framing them by using the rotation, or if you install this telescope in alt azimuth orientation, you're gonna need that rotation capability to prevent field rotation and keep the stars nice and pinpoint. But let's go ahead and jump in and install the focuser onto the back plate of the Delta Row telescope. You have the mounting holes here, and we're gonna use our 51618 PPI bolts. And these bolts are three quarter inch long for the focuser, and we're gonna install it onto the back plate of the Delta Row. All right, one screw is in. We're gonna go around and install the other two screws. Make sure those bolts are nice and tight. And let's move on to installing the Series 5 rotator onto the face of the focuser. And again, we're gonna use the supplied 516, 18 thread per inch bolts. These ones are half inch long, a little bit shorter, and we're gonna secure that to the face of the focuser. You're gonna see that the focuser face has tapped holes to accept the bolts, and you can pick the right orientation here. There's one bolt. Let's go around and install the next. And let's install that last bolt. All right, go ahead and make sure all those are nice and tight. Awesome. So we have the focuser attached to the back plate first, then the rotators attached. Now we need to talk about how to run these with our new Series 5 controller and start the wiring. All right, now with the Series 5 focuser and rotator installed on the Delta Row telescope, let's discuss the Series 5 controller here in my hands. Now the Series 5 controller is powered by 24 volts not the standard 12 volts that some of our accessories run at, but it's clearly marked 24 volts on the front faceplate. You have a power switch and also a USB control switch, which your controller will be included with a USB cable and we'll also have two control cables if you ordered both the focuser and rotator. Now, these cables from the controller box are gonna run from the PW bus out and then we're gonna run them directly to the PW bus in on the accessory. So it's pretty straightforward. You have male and female, not difficult at all. We're gonna run them now and get the box set up. Okay, so as I mentioned here, we have the Series 5 control box. It's powered by that 24 volts, power switch, USB. And then on the back side, these are where the actual plugs are. So we're gonna plug in the ones that say PW bus and we're gonna run those up to where it says PW bus in. And on this, we're gonna utilize the male version of the plug that's supplied with your accessory. So go ahead, plug those cables in, and you're gonna have a keyed notch. It's gonna to be towards the top, and it should seat right in there, and then tighten them. Go ahead and insert 
the second connector. And make sure they're snug. Okay. So then take the female socket and we're gonna insert it into the male prong on the focuser and rotator. Now it doesn't matter which one that you're utilizing on this portion, so just make sure that you seat the connectors nice and firm. Again, these connectors have a key, so you just wanna rotate it around until you eventually feel them seat and then finish tightening them. Okay, so we have the Series 5 focuser and rotator now connected. All right, next up, after you've ran the wires to the Series 5 rotator and focuser, go ahead and take that supplied USB cable and plug it into the face of the Series 5 controller. Now that's gonna be ran to your PC or your laptop, whatever you're using as a computer for controlling the Series 5 accessories. Also in your packaging is a 24 volt power supply. Now make sure you never hot plug this device, meaning always keep the power switch off before inputting the power. So for this example, power switch is down, meaning it's off, it's unplugged. First plug it in, then go ahead and plug it into your power source. And lastly, power on the Series 5 box. That concludes the basic setup and installation of our new Series 5 rotator, focuser, and controller.